this gentle concord in the world. My lord, I shall reply amazingly. Half sleep, half waking. As of yet, I swear I cannot truly say how I came here. I came with Hermia. Our intent was to be gone from Athens, to steal through the gates, where he might without the peril of the Athenian law. Enough, enough, my lord, you had enough. I beg the law of the law upon his head. We would have stolen our way there with Demetrius, thereby to have defeated you and me. My lord, fair Helena told me of their stealth, <laughs> and of this their purpose hither to this wood, and I in fury followed them, and fair Helena leading following me. But my lord, I wot not by what power, but by some power it is, my love to Hermia melted as the stealth. But now to Helena I do wish it, love it, long for it, and will evermore be true to it. Fair lovers, you are fortunately met, and of this discourse we more will hear it on. Aegeus, I will overbear your will. For in the temple, by and by, with us, these couples shall eternally be knit. Joy, gentle friends, joy and fresh days of 
love, accompany your heart. Phyllis Drake? Here, my Jephesius. Say, what abridgment have you for this evening? What mask? What music? How should we beguile the lazy time? If not, some delay. There is a brief how many sports are right. Make choice of which your highness will see first. The battle with the centaurs to be sung by an Athenian eunuch to the harp. Well, none of that. <laughs> the ride of the tipsy bacchanals, tearing the Thracian singer in their rage. That is no advice. A tedious brief scene of young Pyramus and his love Thisbe, very tragical mirth. Very and tragical, tedious and brief. How should we find the tongue for it of this discord? A play there is, my lord, some ten words long, which is as brief as I have known. There is not one more act, one player fitted. I'm tragical, my noble lord, it is, for Pyramus therein doth kill himself, which, when I saw her, made mine eyes water. But more with merry tears, the passion of loud laughter never did shed. What are they that do play? Hard-headed men who work in Athens here, which have never labored in their minds until now. And we will hear it. No, my noble lord, it is not for you. I have heard it over, and it is nothing, nothing in the world. I will hear that play, for never anything can be amiss, when simpleness and duty tender. Go, bring them in. I love not to see wretchedness or charge and duty in this service perish. My gentleman, you shall see no such thing. He says they can do nothing in this part. <laughs> kind of way to give them thanks for nothing. Our sport should be to accept the latest stage. And what more duty can do? Noble respect appreciates the effort, but not merit. So please it your grace, the prologue is ready. Let them approach. Wall and lovers twain at large discourse, for here they do 